Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Pete coming at you again. Another episode of North Florida Smoke. On today's episode, uh, we're gonna have ourselves a fun day today. We've got our, my baseball team coming over. Uh, we just wrapped up the season. And so we're gonna have a little barbecue with my team and their family and uh, have them all over. We're gonna set up some wiffle ball in the park over here behind me for the boys to play. And I've got some great barbecue going on the grill right here. So uh, already cooking a pork butt, which I started last night around midnight and that's rolling right along. So to that, we're gonna add four racks of St. Louis spare ribs. Method for spare ribs is a little bit different than we typically do with baby backs. What we're gonna do with these spare ribs today is we're gonna cook them in a method that I call 3-1-1. So you've heard maybe of 3-2-1. So that means there's three hours in the smoke, two hours wrapped in foil, and another hour back on the grill. Uh, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. We're gonna do three one one instead of three two one meaning i'm only going to wrap them for about an hour i don't like fall off the rib bones right so i like uh, ribs with a little bite on them so that's how we're going to cook these today so i'm going to bring you inside we'll show you the prep we'll get them all set up and we'll get them thrown here on the rectech 700 over my shoulder so stick with us and uh we'll show you how we get it done appreciate everybody stopping by please make sure to click that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming content and uh, let's get into these ribs. Having a baseball party. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. We're cooking the ranch. Ah. All right, guys, here in the kitchen, and uh, we've got these beautiful racks of St. Louis spare ribs. So these are kind of pre-cut versus the entire spare rib, and they're cut St. Louis style. So what we're gonna do is turn them all over. We're gonna Dino. remove the silver skin. So we've got this Dino. membrane on the back of the ribs here. It's tough. It doesn't that allow doesn't seasoning happen. to penetrate. Does that one have one? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. So we're gonna get this all removed and then we're gonna get them seasoned up and then we're gonna get them thrown onto the pit. All right, remember, up high and season the back of the ribs. So we're gonna turn our shaker sideways like this. We're gonna go right over the back I'll of the ribs. I'll do these too. I don't use any binder on the ribs. I just kind of season them and then let them rest. And I don't typically have any loss of, uh, of seasoning, which is good. Uh, all right, all seasoned up, right? Now what? The barber. The what? The barber. The barber? No. You mean the barbecue? These are ready to go on the pit, so let's get them outside and uh, get them thrown on. We got our ribs on the grill next to our pork butt. These are gonna roll for three hours in the smoke, just as is. Gotta bring the little one to a birthday party, so when we get back, we're gonna get these things wrapped up in some foil. All right, let's check in on our ribs, see how we're looking. Those look great, nice color on there. It's starting to pull back from the bone a little bit, you can see. And we're gonna get these pulled off in a few minutes and get them wrapped up. All right, back in the kitchen. So what we're gonna do, take a rack of ribs, we're gonna put it bone side up right here. Then we're gonna take four pads of butter, Like so, right down the rib, we're gonna take some brown sugar, sprinkle that down, not too much. Then we're gonna take our honey and we're gonna drizzle that over the top. There we go. I'll we'll position this in the middle and to close this up, we're gonna grab both sides, we're gonna wrap down because we want to create a little steam pocket. Then we're going to close up the ends and curl them in, like so. And there we go, here's our rack of ribs, ready to go back on the grill. Ribs are wrapped up, back on the grill. Let them roll for about an hour. We're gonna pull them off, put a little glaze on top, put them back on, let that glaze set, we'll be 
you ready to eat? All right, I pulled the ribs off the smoker. We're gonna get them opened up here and pour the juice out. And then we're gonna put a little sauce on and put them back on the smoker. We got our barbecue assistant, Cameron, helping us out here. Hi. Say hi, Cameron. Hi. What are we making today? Ribs. What are we doing this afternoon? Baseball party. Yeah. I don't like a big glaze on the ribs. I don't like them sauced up really. So I'm just gonna put kind of a little bit on each one and then I'm gonna brush it over and then return them back to the grill. All I wanna do is set a nice glaze on the ribs. So we'll do a little bit. Now Cameron, show me how we brush those. Here, up like this. Like that. Like a paintbrush. are back on the grill. They're going to sit here and glaze for about 45 minutes to an hour. We'll get them pulled off, let them rest for about 10 or 15 minutes, slice them up. All right, ribs are glazed up, looking good. These are done. That's all I'm looking for there. You can see kind of a little caramelization on the outside. I'm going to pull these off, let them rest for a few minutes, and then I'll get them sliced up. What do you think of the ribs, Cameron? They look good. Yeah? Are you excited to eat? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Give me a whoop whoop. You guys ready to party? Yeah! <laughs> the ribs are done, ladies and gentlemen. We got our pulled pork all shredded up. Ribs are good to go. I'm gonna let them rest here for a few minutes. We'll slice them up and uh, they should be ready by the time everybody starts rolling in, which should be in about 10, 15 minutes. So thanks for stopping by. Please make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Keep on barbecuing. Okay, let's get these sliced up. Yeah. Here's our ribs here. They look awesome, nice smoke ring, nice and juicy. We're gonna load up this uh, aluminum pan here. Everybody should be here soon to eat. Cheers.